What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension video for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about the extension placemaker and look at some of the different ways that you can bring in higher resolution map imagery into SketchUp. So this extension also gives you the ability to create cities and buildings um, with a single click. So it's really great for creating geographical locations. I will link to other videos talking about how to do that. But for now, let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can check out Placemaker at the sketchupessentials.com slash placemaker uh, if you want to give it a closer look. But specifically today, I wanted to focus on their aerial imagery. And part of the reason I wanted to do that is because they just added a new provider in here um, that provides um, higher resolution or better images that you couldn't necessarily get with the other provider. So with Mapbox or with Nearmap. And so Mapbox is kind of their base image imagery provider that you can use in order to bring in map data. Near map is their super high resolution aerial images, which we can look at a little bit later. But now they have this third option, which is hexagon. So it offers better aerials for most of Western Europe, as well as better images for suburban and rural areas in the US. And so the other cool thing about this is you can also check out the coverage by clicking on this button right here. You can see exactly what you're gonna be able to get um, by checking this map. So you're not guessing anymore. This map actually shows you the levels of coverage they have in different places. And not only does it show you the levels of coverage they have, it also shows you when that data was updated. So, for example, um, one of the examples I'm using is Alamosa, Colorado. So it's a small town in Colorado. And if we click on this, you can see how we're getting different, uh, different layers in here with different kinds of data. Well, if you click on this, this will actually tell you what images are available in that location. So for example, if you click back and forth, you can see how they have data available for 2017 and 2019 in this location. So you can see how this data was probably updated in 2019. So you can know exactly what you're getting before you use any credits or anything like that. And so now let's take a look at that data inside of SketchUp itself. All right, so this is a location in Alamosa, Colorado. So um, basically what I did is I started by adding the location um, with SketchUp. And so SketchUp's data comes from Digital Globe right here. It does have some near map stuff built in as well, which doesn't really matter in this location. But what I did is I started by bringing this in. And then I also imported data from Placemaker with different data sources. So let's take a look at the Digital Globe stuff first. So when you zoom in, you can see how this is like super pixelated. You can tell by looking at some of these buildings that um, none of your lines look smooth or anything like that so it's really choppy and it's not really great for anything like if I had to do something with this site for example I can't really see anything very well so it's not gonna be super helpful um, so that's the SketchUp data and then this is the map box data down below so if you bring in the map box data, you can see that's a little bit better, right? You don't have that choppiness and the pixelation in here, but you definitely can't really tell what's going on. Um, so it's not very smooth imagery and um, it's just kind of blurry. So a lot of rural or small town areas come in like this. So that's what this is gonna look like with the map box data. And then with the new hexagon data, you can zoom in. You can see how this is actually, first of all, it's more up to date. So um, it's got newer data in here, but it's also a little bit smoother. So you can kind of see what's going on a little bit more. You can see like sidewalks. Um, you can see um, a lot of different stuff. Part of the reason for this is I think this new data is captured by aerial um, images as well. So I, th I think they capture a bunch of this by plane rather than satellite. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think that's what's going on. You can see how you can get better data in here using this new hexagon imagery, which is a really cool thing. And then let's say that we wanted to get place or the um, the near map data in here. So let's say I was to just try to import near map data in a location like this, it's just not going to exist. So if we were to look at this, if I was to go to near map and try to import imagery, it's just going to give me an error message and say that it doesn't have coverage at this location. So previously you would have been limited to this data, which isn't bad but I think the hexagon data in this rural area is gonna look a lot better. So couple that with the fact that I can actually check to see if I have coverage before, um, beforehand, I think is a really good thing as well. And so the other thing I wanted to test too was what the coverage looked like in Europe. And um, so what I did is I just opened up a location in Spain 
All right, so same thing for this location in Spain. So if I was to take a look at the map, this is basically just a roundabout in Madrid. Um, I don't know anything about I, I don't know anything about addresses inside of Madrid, so um, I'm not sure exactly how to tell you exactly where this is, but it's kind of in the center of town right here, and it's this big roundabout, and so I thought it would be a good place to test the data. So um, we're going to close out of that. This is the digital globe data that comes in with SketchUp. So you can see how it's very blocky. As soon as you zoom in, um, it gets really pixelated. It doesn't really look all that great. So, um, I mean, it's fine for like high level stuff, but if you need to get more detailed, um, it's not gonna be super helpful. And then the data that comes in with Mapbox is actually very similar right here. So I'm not sure if they share data across the different providers, but it looks very similar to me. Like there's trucks in the same location. So I don't know if they share that data across different providers or what, but you can see that's the same kind of quality in this location. But then I also imported this location with hexagon and you can see how the hexagon data is much clearer in this location. So I would actually be able to use this for some stuff, um, which is great. Um, and let's say that we tried to bring in like the uh, high resolution near map data. So if we just did this, went to near map and tried to bring this in, um, nothing's really going to happen. It's just going to tell us that we don't have coverage at that location. So again, um, I think this is actually a pretty big update because it gives you access to much better data in a location if you want it, especially in places that you couldn't get it before. So anyway, if that's something you're interested in, um, if you do stuff with images like this, make sure to check out Placemaker's Hexagon data. Um, it looks like it's going to be really cool. Plus you can double check and make sure what you're going to be able to get. Um, before you download it using their map function. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought was this helpful to you. Are you using data from any external providers inside of SketchUp? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.